Hello! There is a lot of things that you can do in Crusader, but you do know that one of these things is golf? Yes, you can indeed golf in Crusader, more specifically in Orison, in the new platforms, and today I will show you how. There are currently four holes that can be found in the Hartmore platform. Uh, which at the moment you can only access in 318 if you have a mission to go and uh, repel an assault in Orison. You can also get there without any mission by using a shuttle, but you will have the sign of trespassing all throughout your visit, which uh, if you happen to die, you will go to pressure. Uh, something that doesn't happen a lot on golf, but it's Star Citizen, so you never know. The four holes are quite different from each other. Some are more difficult, some are a bit simpler. They do have a par uh, that shows at the T, but that par <laughs> is not often correct. So best of luck to try and find the correct par for each course. For this video I'm going to show you hole 3 and how I found uh, are the best ways for you to have a golf match by yourself or with your buddies. Here. The easiest ball that I found in the game is the Lunas Fruit and you should start your golf game by placing the Lunas Fruit right on the tee. Uh, a little spot for you to uh, place it. Um, should obviously Try not to eat the ball at all times. Uh, and to start the game, you simply grab it uh, and then use the place mechanic in order to get your throwing direction. If you hold the place for a little while, the line is going to change from all this wiggly uh, mess into an actual straight line. And depending on the arc that you use, is going to throw it a little bit faster uh, and straighter or uh it will land a lot closer to you the more you arc the maximum would be 90 degrees the more you arc the less the ball is going to travel once it gets past uh i guess it would be like 70 degrees now there is some penalties for uh throwing the ball into the wrong place like you see if you get into a sand trap uh the ball unfortunately doesn't stick to the sand trap and will keep rolling the rule is that if your ball hits the sand trap and can't get out by itself, you will get one penalty point. So add one point to your stroke. Uh, and if it lands on water, you'll get two penalty points. The next rule is to wait until you see there the marker, uh, wait until you get a marker. And as soon as you're able, you can pick up the ball again you can't move afterwards, and then you can proceed to your next throws. Again, it's very important to know the terrain uh, that you're throwing and the direction that you're throwing. As you could see, depending on how the terrain goes up or down, it will uh, severely impact the location where your ball is going to go. And as you can see for this throw, again, I landed on another sand trap, so that is another penalty point uh, added to my current stroke. There's a little bit of a technique here in order to grab the ball. So as you can see, the ball is still going and you can't, uh, due to the terrain and the inclination of the terrain, you can't really grab it. I'm here trying to press F and see if, if the ball is uh, available to be picked up. And while it's not, the ball will continue traveling according to the terrain. Now you can use this to your advantage by waiting for the ball to be after the uh, pickup uh, sign is available for you. Uh, you can wait until the ball is in a more agreeable location for you to pick up, but as soon as you do, that means that you will have to stay on your current location and then use your next throw. So here you have me adjusting the angle a little bit, a little bit higher. That means it's going to be a lot shorter uh, throw. Trying to get to the green. And as you can see, the terrain pushed the ball to go a little bit more to the right side. 
and probably gonna hit the wall there and then return back to back to the grass. And you can see the the, the terrain and the terrain reading, which is a lot of uh, what actually happened in golf is going to be very important for you. So it's not just throwing the ball and hoping that it lands in the right place. There's a lot of uh, terrain reading that you're going to have to use in order to throw the ball to a location where it's actually going to suit you in order for you to have the less um, the less uh, throws possible. So. Here you can see I'm pretty close to the green. The objective of the game is not to put the ball in the in the tiny hole <laughs> that is in the green. Unfortunately, the fruit is a bit too big, but there's two ways that you can win. One is by hitting the flag that is in the hole, obviously. Uh, if the fruit at any point hits the flag, there will be uh, the end of your run. The other one is to make the fruit stop right at the circle that you can see there where the flag is planted. So if the fruit is stopped at the circle, that will also end your uh, your hole. Uh, the first option, like I mentioned, if you hit the flag, it can be, I mean, you can have a really lucky or unlucky um, throw. Uh, and it's all about how much you want to risk in having like a faster throw from further away and having the luck of it hitting the actual uh, flagpole or uh, just missing completely and getting the ball to go much, much further. So here you can see the ball uh, went a bit further than I was expecting, but uh, it actually bounced off the edge and it's returning much closer to the flag. And uh, you can see here me preparing myself for what could be my final stroke. Let's uh, take a moment and watch. A good high angle throw, trying to get the ball to land as closest to the middle as I can. Unfortunately, the terrain wasn't very kind to me and the ball uh, went a little bit further to the side. But luckily, it stopped right next to the flag and there is a little putting mechanic, which can be easily done by grabbing the ball and then placing at a closer distance. So this is also allowed. Uh, and as long as you can place it inside of the semicircle, you are golden. Unfortunately, <laughs> with all easy putts, the, <laughs> the horrible happens. So the because the ball didn't stop and continue going, uh, even the putty can be slightly difficult to do. So this is it. This is the end. The ball is in the hole now and your game is complete. Congratulations, you finished it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little funny game of golf and if you did enjoy, uh, remember to leave a like, uh, subscribe, all the clicky things of YouTube requirements. Uh, thank you, very nice. And uh, I hope to see you here again for a next video, what shall it be? Hmm. Uh, if you have any ideas, any comments about this game, uh, please let me know in the comments. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.